Hello, I'm Thad James with Sammy J Balloon Creations, and you'll notice that I've got a little bit more headroom uh, on this video. That's because we're talking about hats. 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 Now, I love making balloon hats. They're one of the most creative uh, things you can make because there's so many different ways to do things. Um, you get free reign to put anything and everything on a hat. Um, and you can be very creative, and every hat can be unique, so you don't have to make two hats that are the same. Um, and so there's some very basic bases of hats that you can add things to. The important thing about hats are connection points, because once you have a connection point on a hat, you can add more balloons to that connection point to make bigger and better hats. Um, wild and crazy things, they're very simple to make because most of it is inflated balloons. There's very little... Uh, twisting that you need to do unless you get into woven hats. But these are some very simple uh, bases of hats. Okay? We're going to start with the basic hat. Um, you, may, you may already know this one, but uh, in case you don't, you inflate the uh, 260 balloon uh, to almost all the way. Just give it a little burp so it's a little bit soft. Um, I give it a nice little stretch. And you start on the knotted end with a one inch bubble. This will wind up being a connection point. Now, you can measure the, the uh, person's head, the kid or the adult who's getting the hat. You can use your own head. You wrap it around, but you don't make it tight because you don't want the hat to be tight. You want it to be a little bit loose so they can take it off and put it on and it won't hurt their head. And after a while, you'll get an idea as to how big the loop should be for a person's head, depending if they're a kid or an adult or if they got a big head or a little head. Okay? So twist that around. So now you've got this uh, magnifying glass looking thing. On the circle, the head part, the base part, go right across from where you did the twist before and twist it. Okay? This is where the head's going to be. Okay? Now you take the sticky outy point, that's an official term, make another bubble in that, then wrap that bubble into that twist on the opposite side. Poke it through like that. I always wrap it around again just to lock it because you don't want things coming undone. Now, this is a very basic hat, very simple. You can go sideways, front ways, backwards. And from here, you've already, already automatically have two connection points where you connect, connect things. Another connection point could be on the top here. You split this, you have another connection point to make balloon to attach other things to. Each side can be twisted. Have another connection point on each side. So there's very, a lot of very, very cool things you can do with this to make it um, uh, with a lot of connection points to connect more balloons to it to make it big and wild and crazy. But the, set, the simple uh, hat base is very, very versatile. One of the things I like to do to it is I take three balloons and I uh, braid them together, okay, so now you've got the bubbles on one end and the bubbles on the other end. Connect those to the connection points. And you've got a very simple, very quick, very impressive hat, okay. This is really cool. You can make it with all sorts of different colors. You can make it out of school colors or uh, the event colors. Um, and you can do a lot of things with just this. So the basic hat base with lots of connection points. Very, very, very cool to do. Um, another cool one to do um, is a, uh, a takeoff on the uh, basic hat base. Um, I call it an A-frame because it's going to have a little A on the front of it or a triangle top. There's lots of other things to call it. Um, but it's very simple, very uh, similar to the basic uh, hat base. So you take their 260 and inflate to almost all the way, leave a little bit on the end, start with that bubble, one inch bubble, measure the head, okay? So you've got that head part there, all right? Now with this sticky outy point, instead of bringing it back around, to make the hat like that, you're going to make a one inch bubble 
on the end of the balloon, but now you're going to take this and attach it about, I don't know, hand width, hand and a bit of a thumb to, to that, uh, down the balloon from the other bubble. Wrap that bubble around. And now you get a hat that's kind of like this. A little bit different. Already got two connection points. I'm going to take this arch here. I'm going to split it. And now you've got another connection point. Okay? The back of the hat, which is the back of the head, I'm going to split that too. So now I've got on the hat two connection points that are really, really easy to connect things to, going front to back and front to back and side to side and making big, wild, crazy hats. Just inflated 260s alone will do some fantastic things. But there's a really cool thing you can do with this, um, and there's a reason this is red. You can turn it into a baseball hat. Um, really quick, really easy, the colors of your favorite team. So you take that hat base, then you take a 260, it's inflated uh, about three quarters of the way. I've cut it off, tied it off, and cut it off. On the end of the 260, you make a bubble, and you attach that bubble to the connection point at the back of the base. So you wrap that around there, like that. Then you take the white 260, lay it over to the, the hat. So you want to want this hat part to be perpendicular, okay? So it stands up like that. Get an idea about where that point is on the balloon there. Make a pinch twist. Wrap that pinch twist into that top connection point. And look at that. Huh? Okay. Now, what you do for the, for the baseball hat is you take -da, a 5-inch round, inflate it, tie it to a little 160, draw your baseball laces on it, tie that 160 onto the 260 on the end of the hat. And now you've got a baseball on the end of a hat. Now, for little kids, you want to give them a bat. This uh, will be amazing. The kids will walk around with this hat beating the ball. And they will even turn their heads to try and catch the ball. This, very quick, very easy, and really a great impact because it keeps the kids busy. Um, fun for adults, too, because they'll like it, they'll like it also. So, a uh, very quick baseball hat. Um, you can also, instead of the baseball, tie a fish on here and make a fishing pole hat. Very cool, too. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with that, that base, too. Lots of connection points. Um, another quick base is a two-balloon base um, that wraps around the head. And for this, you're going to need two 260s, um, inflated almost all the way, just a little bit uninflated, burped, so they're kind of soft. Start with the first 260, make a one-inch bubble. Hold that aside, take your second 260, inflate it the same way, make a one-inch bubble. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay these two butt balloons on top of each other, okay, and this is where the head's going to go, okay, so you want to make it big enough for a head to fit, okay. You don't want it so big that it falls off, and you don't want to make it too small so it, does, so it squeezes the head. So you want to get a good idea, and that the two balloons will be about the same size, okay? So when you do that, you're going to twist bubble around, okay? So you have this type of thing. I poke these bubbles through so that they're locked, and you've got this type of thing. This is where the head goes, and then you've got these long st sticks out here. Lots of things you can do with these. You can twist them together like this. You can wrap them across like this.
There's just lots of things to do. Again, on the base part, you can split this for another connection point. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the uh, 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 flower hat. It's very, very impressive and really fun to do. So I take these two balloons, and I'm going to join them together, however high you want to make the hat, because this will be the base part. I just twist these together, and we're going to edit here. And we're back. So we're going to take these long, sticky-up things, join them together in the middle here, okay? Then after I twist them around, I'm going to take one and poke it through. That's right, to lock it in, okay? So, as you can tell, these are going to be stems for flowers. So I'm going to shape them a little bit, okay? So these can be two flowers right here, but I add another piece to it to make it a four flower. Take a curly, cur curly Q260, and you know, there's lots of ways to do that. It's on another video. Google it, YouTube it. I split it in half, and I wrap that around the bases. So now we're going to have four flowers, and it's going to be so much better. So the next part is just to add the flowers. You take each of the ends of the 260s, make a little bubble, and then you wrap your flowers into the ends. So now you've got this crazy flower hat, and this will get lots of attention. Um, if I make one of these, I make a dozen of them. They are uh, wild and crazy um, and very exciting and colorful as all get out. So you can do any type of flower you want. Um, you can also do lots of other things out here. For uh, Halloween, you can put um, ghost heads. Um, you can put uh, ninja heads if it's a scary ninja. Uh, um, all sorts of different things can go on the ends of this. Um, and remember, more connection points mean more balloons and more fun. Now I'm going to show you the uh, triangle hat or the, uh, uh, the gestures hat. Uh, it's a three balloon base, um, relatively simple to make, and, and can really incorporate a lot of colors to it. So you take um, a 260, you're going to inflate it to have about a five to six inch end on it. Leave that uninflated. On the knotted end, you're going to start with a pinch twist. Okay? Just like that. Do that with three balloons. Just like I have here. Okay? Um, I'm using primary colors here, uh, but you can use any three colors you'd like. Um, you can use all the same color, but there's lots of connection points on this hat, so it's a really cool thing about it. So you take the first 260, and you're going to make about a 12 to 14 inch bubble, okay? So this is what's going to be the hat base. This is going to go around the head, okay? So you take your second color balloon, take the pinch twist, and wrap it around that twist there, okay? Then in your second balloon, you're going to make another bubble the same size as the first bubble, 12 to 14 inches. Take your third balloon, Take the pinch twist and wrap it around that twist. Take your third balloon, make another bubble the same size, and wrap that first pinch twist around that bubble there. So that's the part that goes on the head. Okay? And then you got these three things you can do lots of fun stuff with. Right now, you've already got three connection points for adding additional balloons, and um, this is something that's very versatile. What I'm going to do with these three things, with these three balloons here, is I'm going to make into a, a jester's hat. So I kind of even them up, and all I do is twist. Okay? I've alternated my colors. Now you got these long, sticky, abby things here. And this is where I like to make, uh, uh, some people call them dingleberries, some people call them dooley wops, uh, some people call them uh, balloon balls. 
whatever you want to do. But you need to get the air in, down into the end of the balloon. Several ways you can do that. One, you take the end of the balloon, stretch it out a few times. What that does is it weakens the latex a little bit, makes it stretchier, and then you can squeeze the air here into the end. Okay? Really good idea when you do this is to tie a knot at the base of the, the, the dealy bob. Because if you don't, the kids will squeeze it and they'll come back. Can you fix this? Can you fix this? Can you fix this? It gets old. So, after you take that, tie a knot in it. It will not come undone and it still looks really cute. Another way to do this, if you don't want to pinch it and squeeze it, you can do what's really kind of gross. Suck the air. Put your mouth on it, suck the air down in there. Now you've got your spit all over the balloon. Some people don't think it's very hygienic. Some people think it's disgusting. This is up to you, okay? You can also, when you get good at this, do it without squeezing the air out or without pinching it. Tie the knot and lock it in. Okay? Now you got this cute jester hat. Okay? People always ask me, how does it fit? Do you wear it with the point on the front or the stick on the front? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. It fits well either way. Um, um, but you got these dealy boppers up here, and um, that's very, very cute. So now you've got another connection point up top. So let's take advantage of that connection point. Let's add some more balloons. Okay? Take a 260, inflate it to about the same size as you did these, and you're going to have dealy boppers on the end. Take the end with the nozzle and wrap it around one of the pinch twists. Okay? And you're going to take this balloon and you're going to wrap it around the hat about two-thirds of the way. So if you start with the red, you go around the, the yellow up here and over to the blue. Twist the balloon so you have about as much balloon as you do on the tops here. Wrap that into the top. Okay. Now you got this balloon going around. Do that with the other colors. balloons wrapping around the hat. You got six dealy boppers on top, one for each color. This is in a rainbow shade, but you can do any kind of color combination you want on this. And this is very impressive, very quick to make. Six quick inflated balloons, very little twisting, and you've got something that's very, very impressive. Okay? Lots of connection points, lots of things you can add to this. The more time you have, the more impressive a hat you can make. Um, so give some of these uh, a try, uh, see how you like them. Try them out of your 350s and 360s. Um, they're even better, they're even bigger, they're even more impressive, and they don't take that much time. Add balloons to all the connection points and have a lot of fun with it. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and uh, we will see you next time. It gets old. So after you take that, tie a knot in it. It will not come undone, and it still looks really cute. Another way to do this, if you don't want to pinch it and squeeze it, you can do what's really kind of gross. Suck the air. Put your mouth on it, suck the air down in there. Now you've got your spit all over the balloon. Some people don't think it's very hygienic. Some people think it's disgusting. This is up to you, okay? You can also, when you get good at this, do it without squeezing the air out or without pinching it. Tie the knot and lock it in. Okay? Now you got this cute.
Jester hat, okay? People always ask me, how does it fit? Do you wear it with the point on the front or the stick on the front? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. It fits well either way. Um, um, but you've got these dealy boppers up here, and um, that's very, very cute. So now you've got another connection point up top. So let's take advantage of that connection point. Let's add some more balloons, okay? Take a 260, inflate it to about the same size as you did these, and you're going to have dealy boppers on the end. Take the end with the nozzle and wrap it around one of the pinch twists. Okay? And you're going to take this balloon and you're going to wrap it around the hat about two-thirds of the way. So if you start with the red, you go around the, the yellow up here and over to the blue. Twist the balloon so you have about as much balloon as you do on the tops here. Wrap that into the top. Okay. Now you got this balloon going around. Do that with the other colors. balloons wrapping around the hat. You got six dealy boppers on top, one for each color. This is in a rainbow shade, but you can do any kind of color combination you want on this. And this is very impressive, very quick to make. Six quick inflated balloons, very little twisting, and you've got something that's very, very impressive. Okay? Lots of connection points, lots of things you can add to this. The more time you have, the more impressive a hat you can make. Um, so give some of these uh, a try, uh, see how you like them. Try them out of your 350s and 360s. Um, they're even better, they're even bigger, they're even more impressive, and they don't take that much time. Add balloons to all the connection points and have a lot of fun with it. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and uh, we will see you next time.